yeah, that's the rule. Hey, to be if cool. You're cool about fire safety. Huh, yeah, I, yeah. Parents always saying things to you. Don't be late, pick up your socks, that's what you gotta do. And leaving dishes in the sink, hey, this won't do. But now there's something real important. You and you and you can tell all your parents about what they should do. Tell them to be cool. Be cool. Be cool about fire yeah. safety. Yeah, that's the rule. Hey, to be, be cool. cool about fire safety. That's the rule. Be cool. <laughs> gotta tell your mama, gotta tell your pops about how fire's starting, how to make them stop. Now maybe you're thinking it won't happen to me. I'm too cool, too hip. Fire can't touch me. Then suddenly, whoosh. Hey, we say, oh man, I'm really, really glad we had a fire escape plan. We sat with our parents and we practiced ahead, knowing how to get out. That's how to use your head. So don't you wait till it's too late and not know what to do. If you're cool about fire, fire won't touch you. Gotta be cool. Be cool. Be cool about fire safety. Yeah, don't be a fool. Be cool. You know be what I'm cool saying? About fire. Yeah, don't be a fool, be cool Bet you don't know about the most important thing is where most fires start, it's right in your kitchen Don't cook them stove tops, let your parents do that You can set that pan on fire full of grease and fat Hey, watch out for them toasters, microwaves too Don't be cooking with broilers, they can end up cooking you If a kitchen fire starts, don't go running around Get out of that house, get on to safe ground And if no one's in the kitchen and smoke starts to pour Ain't you glad you and your parents knew what to do before? Let's go over some important safety tips so you and your parents know how to be cool about fire safety. Gotta be cool. First, only parents should be cooking on the stove and they should never leave what they're cooking unattended to. And if a phone rings in another room, make sure they turn off the stove before they leave the kitchen to answer it. Gotta be cool. Second, make sure your parents know to never leave the handle of a frying pan or a pot sticking out like this. Someone can easily knock it over. And if it's full of hot water or grease and it gets on someone, they can get badly burned and end up in the hospital. Gotta be cool. And make sure they know the handles aren't over other burners because they'll be so hot, even this mitt won't protect them from getting burned. Now look at this. Pot holders, dish towels, paper towels, and especially clothing. They should all be kept away from the burners so they don't catch fire. Gotta be cool! Last but not least, if that stove is a gas stove, your parents should make sure when they turn on the burner, it lights. Cause otherwise, escaping gas can cause a big explosion. Oh yeah, uh-huh yeah. And every home should have these family protectors These inexpensive things are called smoke detectors When you hear that buzzing or you hear that beep You know any minute there's a fire gonna leap Where's that smoke detector? When you ain't got one here Then before you know it, you can't see anywhere You gotta be cool Be cool Be cool about fire safety Aw uh, yeah, don't be a fool, be cool Be cool about fire safety Yo, that's the rule Be cool about fire safety Yo, you're looking at the bomb diggity numero uno smoke detector. That's me, Seymour Smoke. I can smell any kind of smoke in any kind of house or apartment, and I can smell that smoke better than you, faster than you, easier than you. And when that smoke comes rising up and floating around, you know what happens to me? Wah! I lose it, man! I can't hold back! I start buzzing or beeping or whistling to let you know something is going down that's not all good. Because where there's smoke, there's gonna be fire. So get out of that house pronto, fast. And once you're out, don't even think about running back in for some doll, a toy, or even a pet. Get out and stay out. Remember this, too. If you don't have a working smoke detector in your house or apartment, you could end up being smoked. So be cool about fire safety. Tell your moms and pops to have at least one smoke detector where you live. Maybe two. The more, the better. The more, the safer. Now that you know what I do, let me show you how I'm able to do what I do. I'll just open myself up and... Yeah, there. You see this? It's my battery. My battery is like your heart. Take out your heart, zero. You're not going to be kicking. Take out my battery, lo mismo pasa. The same thing happens. So you got to make sure you check me out at least once a month. How? Just push my button here. 
That sound tells you I'm working. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. But if you don't hear any sound, I can't smell any smoke. I'm useless. If I make a sound like this, I'm cool. But if every now and then you hear me chirp like this, that means my battery needs changing. And speaking of changing, make sure someone in your home changes my battery twice a year. And make sure I'm working by testing me like this at least once a month. Yo, escucha me, listen to me. If your parents don't have a smoke detector, you better tell them to get one aura. That means now. And make sure you tell them to have me hanging around way up here because smoke rises and I can smell it better and sooner if I'm high up. That's the way to be cool about fire safety. So don't be a fool. Be cool. Comprende? Gotta be cool. Be cool about fire safety. Don't be a fool. Be cool. Be cool about fire safety. That's the rule. Be cool. One of the worst kinds of fires is in an electrical outlet because usually you don't know there's a fire at all. It's tucked away, hidden, where you can't see it, where it works its way up into the ceiling and spreads in all directions. Make sure the electric outlets where you live aren't overloaded with too many plugs. And tell your parents to help you. That's the way to be cool about fire safety. Now check this out! Look what's over there! That heater in your house should be over here! Yeah. Let's do it. Don't! It's too dangerous. Your claws could catch on fire. But, but it's getting bigger. What do we do? Man, I can't believe those kids are so dumb. Starting the fire and then checking out? We've got to call 911 before the fire spreads to that building. Come on! Even the smallest fire can turn into an uncontrollable blaze. Fire is not a toy. Play with it, you'll get burned, even killed, or kill someone else. So, if you see someone else playing with fire, tell them they're not being cool about fire safety. Call 911 or your local emergency number, and tell your parents if you see someone else starting a fire. Maybe none of you kids has ever seen a home or apartment that is almost burnt to the ground. Take a look at this. It's not a movie or a TV set, it's real. And this is what the house looked like six minutes after a fire started in the kitchen. You know why? People weren't being cool about fire safety. Here's what happened. Three people lived here, a teenage girl, teenage brother, and the grandfather. 
It's nighttime. The grandfather goes to sleep in his room. The teenage girl goes to sleep in her room. The teenage boy stays up. He's watching TV and decides to make some french fries. But he leaves a pan full of cooking oil heating on the stove and goes back into the living room to watch TV. If he was cool, he never would have left the kitchen. What's even worse, he falls asleep. Meanwhile, the cooking oil is getting hotter and hotter and suddenly it bursts into flames. Suddenly there's fire and smoke everywhere. The, the kid on the couch chokes on the smoke and wakes up. Lucky to be alive. He runs into the kitchen, but instead of putting a lid on the frying pan to smother the flames, he starts spraying the pan with water from the sink. You can't put out a grease fire with water, but the kid is panicked. He doesn't know what to do. So he runs out, wakes up his sister and grandfather. The girl gets out of bed and crawls along the floor and escapes. She knows how to escape because she was taught fire safety in school. She runs to a neighbor's house, calls 911 emergency. She is being cool about fire safety, but not grandpa and the other kid. They go back in the kitchen, grandpa starts beating at the flames with a blanket and the fire keeps spreading. The kid picks up the frying pan to throw it out the door, but he burns his hand on the red hot handle, drops the pan and the fire spreads even more. The grandfather, instead of being low to the floor, where there's less smoke, he's standing. The poisonous smoke fills his lungs, he passes out. Lucky for him, his grandson pulls him out of the burning house. And guess what? If there had been a working smoke detector like this in the house, the smoke would have set off the detector and the kid would have run into the kitchen in time to keep the oil from catching fire. Talk about not being cool. They did have a smoke detector, but Grandpa disconnected the battery because the smoke detector kept going off. Why? He had it in the wrong place. If smoke detectors keep going off, tell your parents to move them away from kitchens and bathrooms. So remember, careless cooking is the leading cause of fires in the home. Let your parents do the cooking and tell them to never leave anything on the stove without checking it constantly. Oh, and test your smoke detector once a month to make sure it's working. Remember, just uh, press my test button here and listen to it. There, it's uh, working. Uh, be cool, y'all. Smoke detectors are the rule. Just be cool, be cool, be cool. Hey, don't do not on me. I ain't finished with you. There's a few more things you gotta know how to do. Let's say you're in bed and fast asleep when suddenly you hear that smoke detector beep. You wanna get out as fast as you can. That's why it's important to practice your escape plan. First thing you do is feel a bedroom door. If it's hot, back off. Never open that door. Go to the window, let the top down here. Then go out on the bottom if you're on the first floor. If you're too high up, wear some clothing in the air so the firefighter sees that you're waiting up there. Then get to the place where you plan to meet before. So your parents know you're safe, that's what a meeting place is for And have two ways out, so when the fire starts You can safely escape, and that's the way to be smart Gotta be cool, be cool, be cool about fire Yeah, smoke, smoke detectors, detectors are the be rule cool about fire Yeah, firefighters are there for you And they can save your life The most important thing for you and your parents Is to have an escape plan In case your house could be filled with smoke or fire you should sit with them and write down just exactly how you're going to escape. You can draw a diagram with arrows and just figure out where everyone would go. Keep the plan in a place where you can look at it every day until you know it by heart. Practice the plan at least twice a year because just having a plan is no good if you don't practice it. Now, what's in the plan? One, have two ways out of your room or house in case one is blocked by fire. Two. Have a meeting place outside of your house and go there immediately so everyone knows that no one is inside. I am the one, the only, the great Professor Combusto. I am completely fireproof from my neck to my toes. Unfortunately, I'm not smokeproof and neither are you. Did you know that it's smoke that kills more kids and parents than fires? Smoke is full of poisonous gases. <coughs> Once the toxins get into your lungs, choke a 
and your eyes are burning the smoke is so thick you can't see what do you do how do you escape not even i professor combusto can survive in a smoke-filled room unless unless i follow this very simple plan let me show you first Get down and crawl as low as you can under smoke because it isn't as thick down by the floor. And it isn't as hot down there either. But which way do you crawl? To the right? To the left? You can't see. You don't know. But that's why you and your parents must practice getting out of your house. To practice, feel your way along the floor with your eyes closed. See if you can find your way out. That's the way to be cool about fire safety, especially in a smoke-filled room. And remember, if you're in your room and you hear a smoke detector go off somewhere else in the house, get out of that house as fast as you can. First, feel the door. If it's hot, don't open it. If you can, go out the window to safety. If you're too high up, wave clothing out the window and shout to get the firefighters' attention so they know you're up there. But wait a second. What if you live in an apartment in a tall building and you hear the fire alarm go off in the hall? If there's a fire escape outside your window, go down it with your parents. But wait a second. What if you live in a tall building without fire escapes and you hear the fire alarm go off in the hall? Do you run to the door and open it? Absolutely not. Don't be stupid, dumb, idiotic. You feel the door just like in the house. If the door is hot, you wet a towel and put it down here where the crack under the door is. That'll help keep the smoke out. If the door isn't hot, leave your apartment and get to the nearest exit. Go down the fire stairs. Never take the elevator. It could stop and you'll be trapped. But wait a second, what if there's smoke in the hall and your apartment is full of smoke too? You'll have to get down low and feel your way to the exit stairs. But hold everything, you can't see. You don't know how many doors away the fire exit is. That's why it's so important for you to plan ahead. Plan ahead, plan ahead. And then, plan ahead some more. Take it from Professor Combusto. Get down low, under smoke, as quick as you can. So it's less possible to choke from smoke. Yo, let me tell you once more why it's real important to stay low to the ground in a fire with lots of heat and smoke. These lines here show you how at different levels, smoke becomes much thicker and hotter. Well, you all know heat rises, right? Well, so does smoke. From three to six feet above floor level, temperatures can reach 600 degrees. That's hot enough to melt plastic, sofa cushions, even destroy the inside of your lungs. The layer of smoke here can suffocate you. From six feet and up, the temperature can reach 1,000 degrees and will burn everything to a crisp. That's why it's so important to crawl low under heat and smoke. And if you have to breathe, suck in air down here at floor level. That's the way to be cool about fire city. I. Now the worst that can happen is your clothes start to burn When that happens to you, here's what you gotta learn First you stop, then you drop, then you gotta roll Till your clothes stop burning, fire's under control Gotta be cool, be cool, be cool yeah. about fire Yo, when you know what to do, you're cool, be cool about fire yeah. That about wraps it up, and I sure hope that you And your parents all know about fire safety too Working smoke detectors, they, they can, can save you, you. <laughs> And tell your parents to have an escape plan, too. If you hear that detective, don't go running around. Get out of your home. Get on to safe ground. And putting out a fire is not up to you. It's your parents' job if it's something they can do. Aw, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, oh. If your clothes catch fire, stop, drop, and roll. That's good fire safety. Fire's under control. Gotta be cool. Be cool about fire safety. Low under smoke if there's fire in the house Don't cook or touch matches so no fire catches Learn fire safety and know what to do So if a fire starts it won't burn you Gotta be cool Be cool, be cool about fire safety Yeah, peace out and be cool be about cool fire about safety fire safety Yeah Gotta be cool I Be cool about fire safety Tell your parents to be cool about fire be safety. Cool about fire safety. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Gotta be cool. Be cool about fire safety. Yo, peace out and be cool, y'all. Be cool about fire safety. Gotta be cool. Be cool about fire safety.
Yeah, peace out and be cool about fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. Gotta be cool. Be cool about fire safety. Tell your parents to be cool about fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. That's what I'm saying. Gotta be cool. Be cool about fire safety. Yo, peace out and be cool, y'all. Be cool about fire safety. Gotta be cool. Fire safety. Cool about fire safety. That's what I'm saying. Gotta be cool. Be cool about fire safety. Yo, peace out and be cool, y'all. Be cool about fire safety.